Hello students, welcome to Arise a Talent. I am your maths teacher Arpita Sharma. Students, we are discussing about linear equation in one, no, two variables, right? Now students, we have discussed what is a linear equation, what is equation and what are one variable equation, two variable equation, okay. We have discussed about polynomial and then equation, right? Now, we have discussed about the graphs, okay, and the topic was running and we have decided to do this question, right, draw the graphs of the following equation, 2x minus 3y equals to minus 6, okay, 2x plus 3y equals to 18 and y equals to 2. Now, you have to draw these lines to the graph. Now, the second thing is what? Find the vertices of a triangle formed and also find the area of the triangle. Now, understand this. Uh, you'll say to me that, ma'am, we were talking something about graphs. Okay. Last thing we remembered was what? We are having two lines. Okay. They may be intersect to each other or they may not intersect each other. Right. Or possibilities are there they can overlap they can overlap so what is this this triangle what this okay and this uh, understand this student we have given three equations here if you look carefully this question the one is this line the second is this line and the third one is this line now if we are having these three lines students right then we are going to have some three lines okay now what is a triangle an enclosed figure by three lines three sides so when these three line will intersect each other one line will intersect the other two lines right and the same procedure goes on with the three right then you will be forming a triangle if it is right then it will having it will be forming a triangle. Now, what we have to do? We just have to calculate the area of triangle in some unit. Now, square unit because it's because it's area. So, we'll be finding it in a square unit, right? Okay. Now, let's begin the fun with the maths. Okay. So, students, I'm having here some equations. I'm going to use them. Okay, and we'll draw lines. Okay, then I'll have this triangle in my graph. You'll see it. Okay, then we're going to just calculate the area, and we know the triangle's area is half by best multiplied by height. We know it's so simple. Okay, so talking about the equation, so should we part it? All right. Now, I'm having these three lines, okay. So, I can write these lines, okay. So, students, I'm going to write this equation like uh, 2x minus 3y equals to minus 6. Now, so student, this is the first equation. Second is 2x plus 3y, 2x plus 3y equals to 18, equals to I am talking about these two uh, lines this time only. Okay, I will discuss the second, the third equation, which is very, which is very simple. Y equals to 2. You will look, this is very simple. Exactly right. Okay. So, what I am going to do is, I am going to solve this. Now, what I have told you, how to make graph, how to plot graph with equation. Just calculate the value of Y in terms of X and put the values of X in that equation that you made that value of y okay and then you'll be having values of x and corresponding values of y and you'll put it into the graph okay students right so what i'm going to do for the first equation this implies that y will be equals to minus 6 minus 2x that is minus y minus y equals to minus 6 minus 2x by 3 now this minus 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 this can uh, will cancel out eventually that will be positive right so it will become y equals to 6 plus 2x by 3 now can i take this 3 common here right 
their students so i'll be writing it like uh, like x sorry y equals to uh, 3 plus x no i can't take this common here okay so it will be like this only right so students coming to that equation i'll be again finding the value of y here now finding value of y here it will be coming uh, 18 minus 2x and y will be coming 18 minus 2x by 3 so here i'm having y here i'm having y right now now what i'll be having some values of x and i'll be getting some values of y it's the way it works right okay so let it make work so at x equals to 0 if i'm taking this value let's have this value at x equals to let's say 0 right okay so if x equals to 0 that will be positive value right so y will be equals to 6 plus 0 is 6 by 3 now that will be 2 so students here i am having these coordinates as 0 and 2 right now here at 0 i'll be having this um, y equals to 18 by 3 and which is equals to 6 so i am getting these coordinates as 0 and 6 now for this equation students right i can just extend this line okay so at x let's suppose equals to um okay i'll change the color right mm -hmm. i should run at x equals to 3 at x equals to 3 y will be equals to here 2 multiply by 3 by 2 now by 2 what is this by 3 by 3 correct me if i'm wrong right you are not you are not saying anything so that will be what 24 by 3 that is 8 so that will be at 3 it will be 8 that will be 3 and 8 okay come this side just take this at minus 3 minus 3 at minus 3 y will be equals to 18 minus minus 3 2 multiply by 3 18 plus 2 multiply by 3 by 3 okay so that will be 18 plus 6 by 3 18 plus 6 by 3 that will be again like 24 by 3 and that will be minus 3 by 8 here the ordinates will be minus 3 and 8 now so students if i'm having this graph here okay so if i'm having this graph here and that will be one two three four let's suppose here also okay so zero one two three four five six seven eight again one two three four five six seven eight so minus one minus two minus three minus four minus five minus six minus seven minus 8 now students again like this 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 let's suppose 1 that's minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 minus 5 minus 6 minus 7 now I'll put the values 0 and 2 here 0 and 2 here so x equals to i'll be taking some this color joke okay so now it's at 0 x equals to 0 the value of y here this is y axis x and x dash then y and y dash this is y 
and y dash. So, 0 and value of y 2. So, this is one point for this line. Okay, 2x minus 3 equals to minus 6 I am talking about. Okay, now the second value is 3 and 8. 3. Now, 3 is here. Now, 8. 8 will go down like this. 8 here. So, that will something be like there. Okay. So, this point and this point. Now, what we will do? We will just meet these two lines. Okay. So, I will be meeting these two lines, two points, sorry, and forming a line here. Right. Now, about the second one, minus 3. Okay. Before that, 0 and 6. Now, this is 0. This is 0. Now, 6. It y, that will be here. Okay. So, this point is that point. Right. Now, again, minus 3 and 8. Now, minus 3, minus 3 is here and 8, minus 3 and 8, that will be something here, okay. So, minus 3 and 8. So, this is first point, this is second point. So, the, so the line will be like this, okay. Right students, now this is first line, this is our first line which was 2x minus 3y equals to minus 6. Now this is our second line which is 2x plus 3y equals to 18. Right, now the third line which is y equals to 2. Now understand this line. For this at x equals to 0, y equals to 2 at because there is no x now. So, y equals to 2 for any value of x. At x equals to 1, y equals to 2. At x equals to 2, y, 2, 3, 2, again 2, 2, 2. So, at x equals to x equals to 0, y equals to 2. So, the value will be only this here, 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 here and here. So, I will be having this line as just like this okay right students now students what will we consider will be considering this area this complete area okay now we have to find this area this is a triangle forming by these lines, right? Okay, so they are we are making um, the following equation: find the vertices of the triangle formed and also find the area of the triangle. Now I have to find out this area and I have to find out the right. I have to find out the vertices. These are the vertices and this. Okay, so can I take this like? Uh, minus 1, 1, 2, 3 blocks here and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, this is fifth block, okay. So, okay, okay students, so you have to find the area of this triangle, the vertices are this point this point is 5, right, 2. So, 2 by 5 is this point. This point is clearly 0 and minus 1, okay. And if you are making it, if you are pl uh, plotting it on graph, you can have the straight lines and you will find the value of this exact vertices. Now, what you have to do? You have to find this particular area which is enclosed by these three lines, okay. Now, Now, students talking about some more theory, 
we are having some important points to be remembered we are having some important points to be remembered we will look into a table right this table which is pair of line if I will take some pair of lines right now a1x plus b1y plus c equals to 0 and the other line is what this what is this a2x plus b2y plus c equals to 0 c2 equals to 0 then the ratios a1 a2 b1 b2 and c1 c2 now students they are the particular ratio these ratios we are going to compare and we'll find the some nature characteristics of these equations right students so i'm telling you that this is a1x plus b2y sorry b1y plus c1 equals to 0 is your first equation right students and a2x plus b2y plus c2 equals to 0 this is your second equation this is your first equation this is your second uh, equation now this constant of x the, the constant terms of y and the constant term of the equations right so the constant part here and the term these ratios will signify something there may be cases for this right what and what can be the cases are listed below if this is so it may be that this a1 a2 will be equals to b1 b2 and c1 c2 right okay this can be case that this a1 and a2 will not be equals to this b1 and b2 okay now this may be the case that this a1 b2 a1 a2 and b1 b2 are equal and c uh, b1 b2 c1 c2 that means three ratios are correspondingly equal but this may be the case that this is not equal but these two are equal to each other okay so what i am going to tell you that look at here now in one case this is following that this ratio equals to this ratio is equals to this ratio in the second case these two ratios are equal but these two ratios are not equal to c1 by c2 now the third ratio is any one of them is not similar to each other in any way so okay we are having these three cases now we have specified these cases by this tabular form here with examples 2x plus 3y by 4 plus 4 equals to 0 5x plus 6y plus 9 equals to 0 in this case if we'll take the these okay ratios 2 by 5 is not equals to 1 by 3 or 3 by 6 right so in this case this 3 by 6 is not equals to 2 by sorry 4 by 9 so these are totally unequal so a1 by a2 is not equals to b1 by b2 okay now in this case this is 1 by 3 okay this is 2 by 3 so if this is 2 by 3 or should I write it properly okay so this is 1 by 3 now if you look at the constant of y that is 2 by 6 that will be forming 1 by 3 again okay now if I look into this 5 by 15 that is again making 1 by 3 now 1 by 3 1 by 3 1 by 3 right so that means what a1 by a2 equals to b1 by b2 equals to a uh, c1 by c2 this is the relation here okay so this is the relation here in this case none of them was uh, equal in this case the all threes are equal now in the second case if i look into this 2 by 4 equals to 1 by 2 right so this is 1 by 2 now minus 6 and minus uh, minus 3 by minus 6 now minus minus cancel so 3 by 6 is again what 1 by 2 so again 1 by 2 now 4 by 10 is what 2 by 5 now 2 by 5 is not equals to 1 by uh, 1 by 2 so here we are having this ratio equals to this ratio but these ratios are not equals to this ratio that means a1 by a2 equals to b1 by b2 but they are not equals to c1 by c2 right so we have just written it here in this form understood students 
in this case nothing was equal in this case sorry in this case nothing was equal in this case two uh, ratios of starting that is uh, the variables ratio was equal were equal now in this case uh, in this case we are having this ok I forgot just listen it again in this ratio nothing was equal in this uh, case all ratios were equal and in this case we are having two ratios equal that were of variables right and the constant were different from the variable right ok. So, we have understood that these kind of situation can be seen when you compare the ratio. Now, graphical representation you know that intersecting lines, constant lines and parallel lines, intersecting lines and uh, constant lines you know this intersecting lines right intersecting lines ok coincident lines right and parallel lines these three cases you have studied right then from that table which table this table we are having that if the line a 1 x plus b 1 y plus c 1 equals to x and a 2 x plus b 2 y plus c 2 equals to 0 are first for the intersecting lines for the intersecting line a 1 by a 2 is not equals to b 1 by b 2. Now, student this is important these points are important right you can just tell whether it is intersecting whether they are parallel where they whether they are coincident you can just tell it by just looking that they are ratios if these ratios are not equal then they are intersecting lines if these ratios these all three ratios are intersect no, sorry equal then they will be coincident line and if the all three ratios are equal and if the all three ratios are equal then that will be known as parallel line that will give you of course the parallel line if the all the three ratios are equal ok. Now, you can just uh, relook into your questions and I if I have uh, taken a line example which is parallel which are forming parallel lines I have taken uh, an example where they were forming parallel lines right. So, if you look uh, uh, look into their ratios a 1 by a 2 and b 1 by b 2 and c 1 by c 2 these ratios will be what equal ok. So, this is the point. Now, on comparing the ratios a 1 a 2 b 1 b 2 and c 1 c 2 and without drawing them this is important without draw, drawing them if you are having this is important for exams for competitive exams it is um, you know much more important because just like at looking at them you can say whether these are intersecting or not intersecting parallel or coincident whatever they are you can say consistent or inconsistent uh, that you may also know about that. So, without drawing them find out whether the lines representing the following pairs of linear equation intersect at a point or are parallel or coincident like this is example. Now, we are having this equation 5x minus 4 y plus 8 and 7 x plus 6 y minus 9 equals to 0 equals to 0. Now, student this is 5 by 7 this is minus 4 by 6 that will be minus 2 by 3 right. So, if this is equals to this that means a 1 by a 2 is not equal to eight, uh, b 1 by b 2 and is not equal to c 1 by c 2. So, this is what? We have studied th these are not uh, equal they are simply intersecting lines. So, they are intersecting lines. Right. So, first one is intersecting. Now, second one in the second one I can just write here 1, 2 and 3 also this was for first 
This is for second. Now the second one is 9x plus 3y plus 12 equals to 0. And the second equation 18x plus 6y plus 24 equals to 0. Now student what is this? 9 by 18 and this is 3 by 6 and this is 12 by 24. This is 1 by 2. Right. This is 1 by 2 and this is 1 by 2. 1 by 2, 1 by 2, 1 by 2. That means a1 by a2 equals to b1 by b2. Sorry. Right. Equals to c1 by c2. Right students. Now, if they are equal, so what it do, what does it mean that they are parallel? Not they are not parallel. They coincident. Right. For our coincident lines, we are having a1 by a2 equals to b1 by b2 equals to c1 by c2. So, the second line will be coincident. That means the lines will simply overlap if the ratios are same. Okay. Now, the third, this 6x minus 3y plus 10 equals to 0. So, 3, uh, 6x minus 3y plus 10 equals to 0. The second one here is 2x minus y plus 9 equals to 0. 2x minus y plus 9 equals to 0. Now, students, I will be taking these ratios minus, okay, and this is also minus. So, minus minus will cancel out. So, this is 3. This is 10 by 9 simply. Now, this is 3 by 1. Now, students understand this. These in this condition a1, a2 are equal to 1, uh, b1 and b2, but these are not equal to c1 and c2. In this case, if can I write a1, a2 is equal to b1, b2. C1, C2, right. So, nothing was equal. A1 by A2 was not equal to B1 by B2, was not equal to C1 by C2, right. So, in this case, the students, what we were having, this intersecting lines, in the second case, we were having coincidenting lines, and in the third case, we were having what? We were having parallel lines. The students here you can may also uh, look into our table that this case a1 equal a1 by a2 equals to uh, b1 by b2 is not equal to c1 by c2 are what parallel lines okay so i can just yes here so understood this one this one and this equation now you have understood that you can just by looking at a particular equation you may know the property of the equation. Property means whether they are intersecting, okay, how, you be, how will they behave in graph, intersecting, parallel or overlapping. So, you, are, you can just tell by just seeing at the ratios, okay, students. So, with this, I am concluding by this lecture. In our next lecture, we will be meeting and doing some questions on lines. Okay, students, bye-bye, take care.